We make nouns plural when they refer to more than one. I want to show you how to make the plural form of most nouns. First, most nouns add s to make the plural form. Hat becomes hats. Ring becomes rings. Second, nouns add es when the singular form ends with ch, sh, s, x, or z. Watch ends with ch and becomes watches. Dish ends with sh and becomes dishes. Dress ends with s and becomes dresses. Box ends with x and becomes boxes. And quiz ends with z and becomes quizzes. Third, nouns replace y with ies when a consonant comes before the y. Family ends with the consonant l and the letter y and becomes families. City ends with the consonant T and the letter Y and becomes cities. Day ends with the vowel A and the letter Y and becomes days. Notice that days does not end with IES. The reason is that a vowel A, not a consonant, comes before the Y. Fourth, many nouns have irregular plural forms. Child becomes children. Woman becomes women. Mouse becomes mice. I don't recommend trying to follow rules that will help you figure out irregular plural forms. Some nouns like child, woman, and mouse have unusual plural forms that you will have to memorize. Fifth, most nouns that end with F or FE replace those letters with VES. Leaf becomes leaves. Half becomes halves. Life becomes lives. These five kinds of plurals probably represent more than 90% of the English count nouns that you will see. Several other kinds of nouns have plural forms that follow different rules. Some nouns that end with O add ES to the plural form. Examples include heroes and echoes. Some nouns that end with a add just e to the plural form. Examples include vertebrae and larvae. Some nouns that end with us replace those letters with a or i. Examples include alumni and corpa. Some nouns that end with um replace those letters with a. Examples include bacteria and media. These are just some of the rules for plural nouns that appear less frequently than other nouns. Focus on learning the forms of the first five kinds of plural nouns. Now it's your turn. In another video, I gave you some vocabulary for clothing and clothing accessories. Your writing assignment is simple. List some clothing accessories that are in your house. For example, you might write, in our closet, we have many coats, hats, scarves, and sunglasses. In her jewelry box, my wife has several rings, earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. Your list will probably include nouns that add S for the plural, like coats and rings. It might also include nouns that add other letters for the plural, like scarves and necklaces. Add your comment to the web page for this video.